Hey, what is going on everybody? In this video, I quickly want to go over Video Village Film Box. It's just a quick overview. I haven't seen any videos, maybe one video on YouTube doing a complete overview of what this plugin does. So let's jump on the screen recording and we'll get right into it. All right, so right off the rip, um, my project settings are DaVinci Wide Gamut. Um, so color space transform coming in here. S-Log3. Right now this is just a Rec 709 image to get my white balance set and everything all set up. That's what I like to do. And what I do is turn this off. Uh, I come down to film box, put that on there. First thing I'm going to do is DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. And now we are in the correct color space. And as you can see, that's one of our first things we're gonna go over is source. We have a bunch of different options here depending on what your working color space is. I like DaVinci Wide Gamma Intermediate, that's just what I'm working with, so that's what we're doing. Here we have all the different options. You can go full range of effects, negative only, print only, halation and grain only. Um, so that's good. That's that. And then we come down here to camera, we can enable this, we can adjust our exposure temp and tint, but I don't ever like to use this. I usually use this in a pre-node setup right here in white balance. And then my primaries are my exposure and then temp and tint and everything go in white balance. What do we got next? Um, our negative gauge here, we have 16 mil, 35 mil and 35 full frame. I personally use the 16 mil or the 35 mil, 35 millimeter full frame. You only get 250D clean. And then, so let's just put this on 16 mil for this overview. So we have 250D dust and weave, 250D clean, uh, 500T, 500D dust and weave, 200T dust and weave, 200T clean. And then the last one you get 50D dust and weave, 50D dust and clean. Uh, I personally like sticking to the cleans. Here we have our color and tone. We could select different options. I'm just gonna leave it as is, 500T clean. We have our halation. Now this halation is hands down the best you're gonna get from any plugin. And in my opinion, it's better than what you could get from the DaVinci Resolve software as is. So right now we're in 16 millimeter. You can change it to what you want, but I'm gonna leave it at 16 mil. I'm just going to zoom in. Let's pick right here on the guitar, for instance. You can see, you can change the radius of it change the strength of it and then you can change the sharpness of the overall image now 16 millimeter is pretty soft sometimes I like to bring this up to 0 0.750 and that brings you to a more natural look as your digital camera would give you but if you want to go for that film I would just leave it as is and we have grain again on off you can see that saturation in there strength just that, the softness, just that, saturation, add, subtract it from your grain and de-squeeze. So if you're going anamorphic. And you have a bunch of different options in here. I won't go over them all, you can look. I just like to leave it as is. Sometimes I like to turn this down a little bit, but for this shot, it looks perfect. Gate weave, I don't really like to use this too much. We'll just leave it there, turn that off. We can enable the lab. So we can take our vibrance. This is one thing I like to do, kill the vibrance. Add it back in. It's not overpowering. And it's just, well, let me reset this so you guys can see that again. Got vibrance, turn it down. And we can just add it back in to get those deep film colors. We can adjust our contrast in here. This is one thing I like to use a little bit. Acts a little bit differently than just the regular contrast in DaVinci Resolve. Then we have our push and pull. Next, we have our print. We go full, more crunchier and contrasty. Standard, just a neutral in between. And then extended, you get a little more breathing room within your image. I love using extended and sometimes standard. I really never use full. 
If I want to add that contrast again, I could just do it in a node before. So next we have display color space, a bunch of different options here for what you're going for. Another way you can do it is uh, turn this node on and then you could put this to RCM standard. Yes, so that's it. That is the Video Village film box overview and a small little review. I've had this plug in for about a month and I've used it on 98% of the videos that I've come out with. Even this clip right now is graded with it. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. And I would like to mention that there is a free version of this, which I initially tested out. I loved it and then I went ahead and bought the full suite. For most people, paying $1,000 is not ideal, but if you're looking to step up the game, I highly recommend you check this out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.